Well, some of the largest verdicts I've ever obtained have been in medical negligence cases. Um, I'm not a fan of suing physicians and nurses in hospitals, uh, but if they make mistakes that cost people lives or if it costs them their health, uh, then the responsible thing to do is to bring litigation in order to make that wrong right. Um, as a result, I've handled cases involving obstetrical errors with brain damaged babies that have resulted in $16 million verdicts. And um, I have handled cases involving um, failure to diagnose cancer, which are very, very sad and very difficult. I've handled cases where um, wrong legs have been, the wrong leg, they had surgery on the wrong leg, um, where they've perforated organs and caused death. Uh, where they have uh, made mistakes with anesthesia causing deaths. The standard is very simple. A doctor is supposed to do uh, what is necessary to provide proper health care. If they make mistakes, the law says that's called negligence, medical negligence. And it allows an individual to bring a lawsuit to recover for those losses. We handle medical negligence cases very carefully. We order the medical records, we review them, we have uh, experts that we retain to review the records and tell us if the physician, nurse, hospital, institution failed to meet its obligations of providing quality health care to the client. Uh, and if the answer is yes, they failed, uh, then we bring uh, a claim for medical negligence on behalf of our client to recover the losses caused by the physician, nurse, hospital, or institution that failed that client.